Hello, I'm James Hartigan. Welcome once again to the PokerStars Daily Roundup from the 2014 PCA. It's really buzzing now here in the Imperial Ballroom at Atlantis. The festival well and truly underway. Today was day 1A of the 10K main event, but our focus was on the final table of the 100K Super High Roller, a seven-handed final table after the double elimination we saw at the end of day two. Well, coming into the final table, we had big names and short stacks. And it was the two shortest stacks Shemian and Greg, who were all in and out on the second hand of the day. Moments later, our other short stack, Matt Glantz, bit the dust. His chip's going to Vanessa Selp. She retook the chip lead, and we were left with four. And it didn't take long for two of the biggest names in the game to collide. Let's pick up the action here, because we've got two big hands. Vanessa Selps has raised to 160,000. Antonio Esfandiari has nines in the big blind. He three bets to 430,000. How much did you start the hand with? 2.4 million. Are we going to see a giant race here? I have 1.9. About 1.9 and a half behind. Behind the four. So 2.4. I don't think Antonio is three bet folding a hand like nines very often. If ever. I also don't think Vanessa's folding ace king. So it kind of seems inevitable where this is going, right? I'd have a hard time being Antonio looking at my big head just over Vanessa's head, looking back at myself during a situation like this. No, I, think. I think he's fine with it. And that's why you're the professional, Joe. <laughs> His head's getting bigger. Every day. Just kidding, Antonio. Just kidding. There's the four bet from Vanessa. Seven hundred and eighty thousand. And if we had the red triangles here at the PCA, I imagine Antonio will be requesting one about now. By the way, I have spoken to Neil Johnson and can confirm the triangles will be at the 2015 PCA. Thank God. Come on, Antonio, click it back. Come on. In. <laughs> he shoves. <laughs> Call. Vanessa reluctantly calls. Ace king against nines. There is a classic race underway at the final table of the super high roller. A classic, sickening, disgusting race for hundreds of thousands of dollars in real money equity. <laughs> I don't know if you could do that. Please. Okay. Please. Well, Braddy's doing it. Is he it. ready? Just make sure you get your... Feel good, okay? Feel good. Suffice to say, Antonio needs nines to hold here. I can't take it. What am I... I just can't take it. Me next, Antonio. Come on. I'm feeling uncomfortable. It's a low flop, but it does give Vanessa a wheel draw. Wheel draw back to our diamonds, I think. Seven. Seven jack. Jack seven. Not to mention the aces and the kings. I guess I would take it. 
Oh, <laughs> ace on the turn. And it's a diamond, which I think is Antonio. Only one out. He needs the nine of spades on the river. We're down to three. Black three. Oh, good game, guys. This oh, is yeah. what happens when you give a man a massage at the table. <laughs> I'll allow it. I'm fine with it. It's the five of clubs. So we lose Antonio Spandiari in fourth place. He collects $575,920. Remember, Antonio was in for two bullets. He invested 200K. So his profit is just over 375000 Now he just has to leave the table and go back to being a millionaire with a beautiful girlfriend in the Bahamas. It's tough, man. It's tough. It's a tough life. What a shame. And after 16 hands at this final table, we're down to the final three. Vanessa Selps extends her chip lead. Three-handed play began with Selps way ahead. She and Fabian Quas clash repeatedly. And when Quas seemed dead and buried, he managed to crack Dan Shack's aces. He then won a massive pot against Selps and shortly afterwards knocked out last year's high roller champ. Meaning Quas was now heads up with the man who came second in this very same event two years ago, Dan Shack. Quas had a two to one chip lead. He piled the pressure on his rival and it didn't take too long before he knocked out Shack and claimed the very first title of 2014. Congratulations to super high roller winner, Fabian Quas. The better part of $1.2 million for Dan Shack, the runner up, more than $1.6 million for our winner, Fabian Quas. So our attention now firmly focuses on the main event. Tomorrow is day 1B, and we have live coverage available for you to watch from 2.30 Eastern time on Wednesday, the 8th of January on the PokerStars YouTube channel. Plus, follow the live updates on the PokerStarsBlog.com and follow them on Twitter, at PokerStarsBlog. I'll catch you soon.